Part 2, User Preferences and Home Page Customization. Next, I'll demonstrate how to set up user preferences and customize your home page. This feature is user specific, so these settings affect the individual user only. User preferences can be accessed in the same way as prior GP versions. Click on the application menu and select user preferences. In this window, you can set up a default location for printing purposes, set up the ability to use the tab or return key when entering data, and default mapping options. Let's take a look at setting up reminders. Simply click on the reminders button. Microsoft Dynamics GP includes some predefined reminders and you can also set up some additional ones. You can select the predefined reminders or set up custom reminders and you can even create new tasks by clicking on the task list button. These features function basically the same way as Microsoft Outlook reminders and tasks. Depending on your selection, when those instances occur in GP, a reminder pop-up or queue will appear. You also have the option to change the display of GP for required or link fields. Simply click on the display button and you can also change your passwords and update your autocomplete settings. Since I'm logged in as Sys, uh, system administrator, the password button is disabled. Next, I'll talk about how to customize your home page. Simply click on the Customize Home Page link in the upper right corner of the home page. And this window allows you to include reminders, tasks, and other quick links and, and report favorites as well. You can also change the layout of your home page and even change the role as well. This concludes part two of our four-part tutorial.